Lenny here. I made it through the flight and I'm in Shanghai. 17 hour layover begins. I got Erica's baggage. So now I just have to go find the train and get off to my hotel. Board the maglev and we're about to get going it goes like 480 miles an hour which is why it's so cool it may be the fastest train in the world we'll see how it goes it's only eight minutes to the destination that would normally be like an hour or something so here we go Instead of taking the train line two that I thought I was gonna do the rest of the way and walk a bit, I'm just gonna take a taxi because I have so much crap right now. So might as well just pay a little extra and get dropped off right at my doorstep. So it's about 10 o'clock now and I got here at 6.30 so it took a while to get through customs and then take the maglev and then I took a taxi the rest of the way instead of the metro because of all my baggage and I had a little incident where they told me that they would use credit card and they didn't so then we had to look around for an ATM. Pro tip, bring some Chinese money, it's just the smart thing to do. But anyway, I made it to my hotel room, it's called Les Suites Orient on the Bund, and as you can see, it is on the Bund. But I'm just blown away right now. I've never been to Shanghai or China in general, so the size and beauty of this city so far is blowing me away. As soon as I'm done making this video, I'm checking that out for sure. But I thought I could show you around my hotel room first. It's pretty nice. Okay, so you walk in and there's a desk and couch area. You can see through to the bathroom. And then this way is the bedroom, which, dang, look at that bed. I don't need all that room. Not that I'm complaining. Big TV. And then a seating area with the view. Amazing. Like, holy crap. And then this way we have the bathroom which is way too fancy for me, for being honest. Game changer, this toilet right here, that thing has a heated seat. I don't think I can pee on peasant toilets anymore. And that, te that uh, bathtub though, I might have to take a bath. Peek at the view, mmm. Another pro tip, um, the outlets. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Luckily, the hotel room does have a US one, but I would bring one just to be safe. Okay, I've got another pro tip for you guys. So in China, as some of you might know, Facebook and different things through Google, so basically everything that we use in the US, is blocked. So the hotel that I'm staying at had a VPN number to get around these things. Of course, it's not working for me and I nearly had a panic attack because I had no way of contacting my family who thought I was going to when I got here. And luckily I just found out that Snapchat seems to be the only thing on my phone that I could contact people with that works. So, Snapchat. Okay, I'm outside and walking around a bit, but as you can see, they turned the lights of the Bund off, probably around like 11. So I was a little disappointed since I'm mostly walking around late tonight, but still looks awesome despite that, right? If you're already on the bun, you might as well check out Shanghai's bull right there. I just got some pictures with him. But he was basically the answer to Wall Street's bull and supposed to be bigger and badder. So might as well check it out. So I'm just walking around now seeing if anything's open and looks cool basically.
Well, I've gotta say I'm kinda disappointed in Shanghai's nightlife. I've been walking around a bit and down different streets and whatever and there's barely anything open besides like 24 hour little shopping markets that don't take my card for some reason. So besides that blues place, I mean, I wish I'd stayed there now. It's kind of disappointing. Well, I'm back in my hotel now. There wasn't a whole lot to do out there that is awake past midnight, which I'm surprised and disappointed by, but that's okay. I guess a luxurious night in at my nice hotel isn't a bad thing. So I'm here at the lounge because this hotel would have a cool lounge, of course. And I just poured myself an espresso. I'm gonna sit here, sip on it, and enjoy the night. I mean, I already slept most of that plane ride, so I'm pretty awake. I decided I'm gonna help myself to a bath in that fancy bathroom. I'm pretty excited. Got my wine ready. I've just never had a hotel this fancy. Good morning. It's the next uh, day here at my hotel and I basically have to check out immediately. But my time here at this hotel was amazing. They basically made my night here at Shanghai since everything closed so early. I was not expecting that. But the view, absolutely beautiful and I just enjoyed myself a nice bath with some wine and what more can you ask for? but I'd love to get back to Shanghai when I have more time and during the day to explore the city, but I like what I've seen so far. Goodbye, my wonderful hotel. bummed I never got the Chinese food experience since everything closed so early last night, but I am excited about this Korean airport food. Mm -hmm. 